ran into it all. But one time, <laughs> one of the scariest experiences when I ran into a female bear with, with her whelps, with her cubs. And they, you know, they're inquisitive, and they were getting closer and closer, and I was praying, oh, God, no. And, and they was, they was, I'd say they was within 15 feet of me. And she made some kind of grunt, low grunt noise. And they turned around and ran, and all of them ran. Even the mother bear ran. Mother bear ran, they all ran up a tree in a second. And I said, well, maybe they saw my angel that was with me. <laughs> Because they all took off running, but I, you don't want the scent of you to get on any of those cubs because a mother bear kill you. I mean, they, they claws, they got to cut you in half, literally. And they're fast. You ain't going to outrun a bear. The only thing you can do is, is what I was taught, you know, just stand still and, and raise your hand, arms up and get on your tiptoes and... Make yourself larger than what you are. That's what you do with all wild animals. And no fear. <laughs> just just breathe and relax. Because, you know, they, they're smelling you. they got keen, keen senses. But uh, anyway, God said he's going to be a female bear to them. I thought that was funny. I remember that story. And I will, and I will rend the call of their heart. Wow. I was going to rip their heart out. And there I will devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. He's the Lord of hosts. God is over everything. The animal, he sent animals after you. And I can send bats after you. <laughs> bees. Oh, I got a story with killer bees too. <laughs> I can go on and on and on and on with stories. <laughs> From my mountain days and forest days, I got plenty of stories. Bats included, bees. I had some strange things happen in those mountains. But anyway, you don't want God, the Lord of hosts, after you. I devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tear them. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself, but in me is thine help. I will be thy king. Where is any other that may save thee in all thy cities? And thy judges of whom thou saidest, give me a king and princes. I remember I told you earlier they asked for a king. I gave thee a king in mine anger and took him away in my wrath. Saul was stiff-necked, rebellious king. And they picked a king that was good looking, tall, handsome, handsome king. Moral, yeah, definitely a moral guy. He was just a rebel. <laughs> he did what he wanted to do. And God got pissed at the king and took him away. That's what God said. I took him away in my wrath and set David up. And they didn't like David. See, the, the people always, the, the, the mob is always wrong in the Bible. You can just go one end of the they want to stone Moses. They always, they, they told Christ away with him, crucify him. We don't want him as king. That's after he did all the miracles, healed him, and they yelled earlier, praise Hosanna the highest. The next thing they're throwing him up on the cross. Mob rule. Mob always don't get it in the Bible. It's always a few. But they asked for a king, and, and look what happened. I gave thee a king in mine anger, and took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, his sin is hid. The sorrows of travailing woman shall come upon him. He is an unwise son. For he should not stay long in the place of the breaking forth of the children. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from the from death. O death, I will be thy plagues. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Repentance shall be hid from mine, from mine eyes. Though he be fruitful among his brethren, an east wind shall come. The wind of the Lord shall come upon the wilderness, and his spring shall become dry. 
and his fountain shall be dried up. He shall spoil the treasure of all pleasant vessels. Samaria shall become desolate, for she have rebelled against her God. That's what happened to you. You hard-headed, recalcitrant, recalcitrant, retractable, obstinate saint. This is written for our example. This is what God doing to the church world now. That's got up a lifted in pride and rebellious and sold out the mammon and the um, modern day ancient old cult organizations and the evil dark forces that be they didn't bow to and the modern day abortions and child sacrifices of Moloch today God, God's judging these nations right now God's judging the church right now. They're participating in it. God's judging corruption right now. The whole system is under there, including these fake, false shepherds, under shepherds, and pastors and teachers. They're under judgment too, right now. God ain't playing. It's like he is. This is why we read this. Like street priests, we done read the book from cover to cover. And let God's word, this, is, this here street priest is where we exalt God's word. God's word is exalted here. Not egos, not some uh, failed entertainer, pastor, with a giant ego to still want to huff, puff, and strut like he's some secular entertainer, a singer that did make it. I mean, he's a failed, third rate, wouldn't have made it anyway. Some fat Albert preacher. Puffing, puffing, and sweating. Sparks flying out their ass, looking with the capes on. We exalt God's word here. God's word is a revelation of Himself. And God's word is consistent from cover to cover. This ain't no fairy tale book, it's a war book. And that's what we do here at Street Priest. We're taking God's word and bringing it from behind the veil of mystery that man constantly tries to put it in and display it for the whole world to see. And you see God's a judge. He's going to always be a judge and he's always going to judge against unabashed sin and that's what we're dealing with with his people right here. We want to do what they want to do and reduce God down to being a bailout and a cater to their <clears throat> self-seeking selfish desires. And God's not going to be it. God's going to be God. He created in His image to serve Him and worship Him. Samaria will become desolate, for she have rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword, by war. Their infants shall be dashed in pieces. Read that again. For the squeamish. The babies, so we'll put it in context you understand. The babies shall be dashed in pieces. Just imagine taking a porcelain, glass, anything, and throwing it to the hard marble floor in your house. That's how the kids are going to be dashed into pieces, the children. And their women shall, and their women with child, it shall be ripped up. They will cut the babies out the stomach. You don't want to piss this guy off. Well, I don't like a guy like this. Go to hell then. Go we'll serve the other guy. He didn't like him either. Try to overthrow him. You only, you only got two choices. A lot of people don't like this guy here. Matter of fact, these people here that we read about didn't like this guy here. They wouldn't have, <clears throat> they wouldn't have did what they did. And they were supposed to be God's chosen people. And they chose the pagan God. Which is what you choose. If you choose the pagan God, you chose Satan. And that's that's his representative. They represent Satan. So, 
There's only two choices. God is safe. It's the only two choices you got. These people, and we're reading constantly where God's dealing with them. And sending prophets to deal with them. And this is God's word we're talking about. God judges the nations, all nations, fall in his judgment. This is his, his, his earth, and he's, <clears throat> he's going to come back and reclaim it and teach man who the boss is. I mean, you can read about that in Revelation. Satan's days are numbered. And those want to follow him, their days are numbered. O Israel, return unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Take with you words, and turn to the Lord, say unto him, Take away all iniquity, and receive us graciously. So we will render calves, so we will render the calves of our lips. Asher shall not save us. We will not ride up on horses. Neither will we say any more to the work of our hands, ye are our gods. Can't depend on your warriors in the tribe to deliver you. Once God is going to give you up, you have nothing to say. That's what he's saying. Can't depend on your hands to say, you don't care how skilled you are. Care what you know, or what you think you know. When God's when God's against you, the Lord of hosts, He could send a virus to wipe you out. Everything's at His disposal. Play. Neither will you say any more to the work of our hands, ye are our gods, for in thee the fatherless find mer findeth mercy. I will heal their backslide. I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from them. I will be as the dew unto Israel. God always get back to grace. He's going to wipe them out and, and, and uh, spare a few of them, a remnant, like he always does. And in that remnant, he's going to plant. He's going to plant in a new land. Going to take them over the Caucasus Mountains and, pine, and plant them in the British Isles. And from there, they're going to grow again and prosper. And it's from there that they receive the gospel. That's why God always gets back on track because He's going to send His Son Christ to redeem them. Mind back. That was all of us, too, including the Gentile church. And also the lost house of Israel. I will... I will be unto you as do unto Israel. He shall grow as a lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon. His branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his smell as Lebanon. They that dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall revive as the corn and grow as the vine. The scent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim shall say, What have I to do any more with idols? I have heard him and observed him. I am like a green fir tree. From me is a fruit found. Who is wise? He shall understand these things. Prudent, he shall know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. And the just shall walk in them. But the transgressors shall fall therein. All right. Amen. So, I hope you're getting a good understanding from Pastor Hosea, the ways of the Lord. We're finished with the Minor Prophets. Hosea was it. I thought it was a good book to end on. It really showed God's heart and God's ways, and how he feels about things. That's why we read this book. To let God express himself. He's been bottled up by the traditions to make void the word of God. <clears throat> by men, and of course Satan is behind it all, of course. But the point I'm making is <clears throat> God wants to reveal himself. And through these minor prophets that we just studied, there's a whole lot of revelation of himself in him. Like I said sometimes, really he's really passionate. And he lets it all hang out, as you can see, in the street. For his raw feelings and emotions regarding the hurt of his people as they turned his, 
turned it back on him and went backsliding after false items. Now I'm getting my teaching. I can't re emphasize that enough. I'm dealing with that ancient occult religion. Um, the synagogue of Satan is the title of the video. The ancient occult. <coughs> the ancient occult synagogue of Satan. So make sure you get that video and watch it because we got the same thing going on here in America and the world today that was going on in Israel time. The same old competition, satanic, false trinity religion under many various names around the world is still active. And it's and they infiltrated the church, they infiltrated our nation as they marched toward getting their false prophet and their antichrist set up here in these last days. Our job as the church is to hold the antichrist back. And I'm taught on that too. You get the, get the uh, video of the church, what our role is. And the church is a good video for that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this series on the Minor Prophets. And uh, as we end always, if I'm the one that taught you, go to streetpriestministry.org, bring your tithes, first fruits, alabaster box there. That includes you, plagiarizing, thieving pastors. And thank God they don't see if I'm teaching you, you owe to. Good day, good evening, good night to you around the world. May you grow in faith in Jesus' name.